Holy crap, guys. We've got a Nintendo Direct confirmed for tomorrow, March 8th. This There were some rumblings yesterday online on Twitter and whatnot. Didn't know if I believed them, but now they're true. So I am joined by Silverton 93 and we're going to give our predictions on what's going to happen tomorrow. Hi, hi everyone. How's it going? So, yeah. Uh, so for you, it's in, it's the afternoon now in the UK. But, like, I just woke up. I, you know, Attack on Titan came out this morning. I was super pumped for that. And now I've got a Nintendo Direct. I was like, oh, my God. Like, I need to get someone on right now to talk about what's going to happen tomorrow. So thank you so much for joining me on such short notice. No problem, man. <laughs> thank you for having me. So, yeah. So to just go, like, overview on, like, what's going to be covered in the Direct tomorrow, it says... Tune in for roughly 30 minutes of information focused on Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo Switch titles launching this year, including new de new details on Mario Tennis Aces. So just overall, I I, what I, th I think we're going to get way more, of course, than that Mini Direct. Also, it's, mm. like, it's twice as long as the Mini Direct. Um, but I think... I think there's going to be a real emphasis on Mario Tennis Aces. The last time, every time that they name a specific title in their direct announcement, there's a lot of time dedicated to it, such as, like, the Splatoon Direct. Or, we got, like, a Splatoon yeah. and Arms blowout last year. There was a Mario Odyssey emphasis in the uh, Fall Direct. Um, so I think Mario Tennis Aces is, first of all, just going to get a lot of information. But what do you? how are you feeling just overall going into this Direct? Yeah, I feel like um, because it says that the Direct is going to focus on Mario Tennis Aces and it says it's 30 minutes long, it's probably going to be about 10 or 15 minutes dedicated to Mario Tennis Aces. Um, and I, I think that what they've revealed so far, it, it's certainly a lot more exciting than that um, that Mario Tennis on the Wii U. Oh, God. Which, which had, like, no content in it other than, um, like, you can get one of the like is it mega mushroom like where they grow yeah massive yeah that that was basically the only real selling point um but i think what they what they might do for this mario tennis aces is they might show a lot of the story mode because that was like a new returning um mode to the game mm -hmm. and i think they could definitely uh, show a lot about that and what the story is maybe Maybe there's like uh, like full animated cutscenes for this Mario Tennis game. Maybe oh, they could add so. a lot, a lot of um, like high presentation value because it looks quite nice so far for a Switch game. I was gonna say um, yeah, like we, we so, can just, yeah, we can just kind of dive right into Mario Tennis Aces since that's seemingly going to be the focus of this. Yeah. Um, I completely basically agree with you. Basically, the only game we know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can basically <laughs> agree with you like hundred percent. Like, I really hope that there's like, a, have you seen the opening cutscene for Mario Tennis on the GameCube? Um, I don't think so. No, oh, I my... might have. So but... after after this discussion, go and watch it because it yeah, is I'm... amazing. Um, what, what happens in it, really briefly? It, it's Wario and Waluigi just like messing with everything. Oh, is it when is it when they're like they're underground and Bowser's trying to teach them? Yeah. Tennis. Yeah, I've yeah. seen that one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I want to see stuff like that in this game. I want full CG trailers. I want like yeah, you know, like I want to see like rivalries between the characters. Um, but you also mentioned the um story mode or the arcade mode or whatever. And I think we will get some more details on that as well. Um, because that seems to be like the main like. Hey, this is the reason this is better than other Mario Tennis games, or at least the last two, is because we have this. Um, so I feel like they're definitely going to talk about that uh, quite a bit. Yeah, and they could even have some of the uh, Super Mario Odyssey characters, like coming in for like either cameo appearances or actually playable appearances. So, for example, Pauline. Or, oh yes. Um, or who else is a Nabbit. stable character? Nabbit, not, yeah. That's he's not one. Odyssey, but man, get Nabbit in there. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I feel like he needs more time in the spotlight. Nabbit. Yeah, he I mean, was just... He was a... Yeah. He was just like a troll in that Smash Wii U stage. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, speaking of Mario Odyssey, I think that they might announce, or at least... that They'll either reveal or at least announce a little bit more Mario Odyssey DLC. Oh, okay, hold on. Before we move on to yeah. that, I had, a few, I had a little more to say about Mario Tennis. Uh, just okay. So, um, <laughs> we'll get that's something I want to talk about too, but we'll get yeah. that in a sec. Um, so I think we're definitely going to get a release date for the uh, Mario Tennis in this direct. We're definitely mm. getting a release date, and I'm going to say it's going to be right around that E3 slot, right? Like where Arms came out last year. I think we're going to get it, you know, 
right at the beginning of June, middle of June kind of thing. Because they said mm. spring for a release date, and you know how Nintendo likes to push their release dates to the very last minute. Yeah. Um, so I, that's kind of what I'm thinking um, for a release date. But I also think that we'll get some details on... Uh, th this one I'm a little, little less confident in because we don't actually know about Nintendo's online infrastructure yet. But um, mm. I think we might actually get some details on online play. Because Mario Tennis on the Wii U had online, but it sucked. Um... <laughs> So I feel like they're yeah. definitely going to talk about that as well. Yeah, they could, they could definitely talk about the online, um, not just with Mario Tennis Aces, because it's a, it's it's going to be a, a very online focused game, you know, like online tennis matches. Yeah. Um, so like th they could talk about how Mario Tennis Aces has online, and then they can say, oh yeah, speaking of online, we're bringing our service in whatever month. They'll probably say how much it would be, like how much it costs. Um, and I, I hope that they announce like virtual console titles for the so, for the online service. So, do you think that in this direct we could see Nintendo's online infrastructure? Hopefully, yeah, I, I hope so, but it's I, it's a li little bit of a stretch. I hope so. I don't think it has any chance of showing up. I, if I'm being completely honest, I really want to see it. I do. I, I want to get these GameCube titles hopefully on the Switch, but I I don't see it happening. Not tomorrow. Mm. I think they'll probably they'll probably leave the online infrastructure like announcement either th for like just before E3 or E3. I, I think it's, it's actually gonna be, I, it's going to be a lot bigger. Yeah. I, I think I think they will. Yeah. Like I think they will blow it out when they do. But I actually think it's going to be its own dedicated event when they talk about it. Mm. Yeah. That that that's quite. Um... That, that, that's something that that Nintendo would do, I think, mm -hmm. to to announce their online information in like a specially made um, online video. Yeah. Okay, so moving on, uh, you mentioned Mario Odyssey DLC. Um, do you want to take it away with that? Because I've got some thoughts yeah. on it, but you started it, so you can go for so, it. So um, the reason why I thought this is because um, in the in the, in the in the most recent update for Super Mario Odyssey, where they added those like new costumes. Um, a, a few things sort of caught my eye, specifically the the like sunset, the sunset, the sunshine uh, shirt and the sunglasses mm. give a very very strong hint of uh, Delfino Island, probably being a world in Mario Odyssey, and I'd I'd love to see that. Um, like all how, signs, how good it looks. All signs seem to point to it. Mm. Um, but then there were even some data miners who like hacked into the update and found even more costumes which hadn't been uh, added into the game yet. So, I think one of them was a Link costume, wasn't it? Yeah, they said it was like um, I, I can't remember the the name of like the Link hat, but the description was like this is from a faraway land and a faraway time, mm -hmm. and it's like it, it it's Link's hat in in Mario Odyssey. That would um, be so funny. Can you imagine if they added like a, a small section of Hyrule the Great into Plateau. Mario Odyssey? Like, what if they added yeah, the Great, Great, Plateau, Great yeah. Plateau? Yeah. Oh my god! Uh, because that's actually the the Great Plateau. It's like elevated up in the same way that the Mushroom Kingdom is. Yeah. In Super Mario Odyssey. So it could definitely work. It oh. might look very different, but. Oh my god, dude! Now I want that so bad. <laughs> but um. <laughs> They could even add a motorbike for Mario to ride on, like how Link has his motorbike. Uh, they could just reskin the uh, scooter. Yeah, they could actually have a specially made scooter for the uh, for the Great Plateau. Um, so I actually had um, so uh, I don't know if you knew this, but there was a guy by the name of Vandal Leaks on Twitter yesterday. Um, mm. who actually completely called the Nintendo Direct. He, he was the one that said, hey, there's a Nintendo Direct coming on Thursday. Mm. I've got the sources or whatever. But he's also leaked a few other things that I can actually get behind. Um, so he's saying, um, in regards to Mario Odyssey DLC, that there's going to be a Luigi's Mansion stage. I mm. would be so down for that. That would be so cool. And, like, what if it actually gives Luigi, like, some more relevance other than being just some balloon person? <laughs> like, I I think that might actually happen, like, a Luigi's Mansion level in Mario Odyssey. Um, because, like, yeah, like, like you said, Luigi needs a bigger role in Mario Odyssey rather than just a balloon person. And, um, like, Luigi's Mansion seems to make it into a lot of 
you know, M Mario and Nintendo games. Like, it's in Smash Brothers. It's in Mario Kart, Mario both, Kart. both as a track and as a battle stage. Yeah. Like, it, it, Luigi's Mansion gets some love from Nintendo, for sure. Yeah, I think, I think the most recent appearance of Luigi's Mansion is in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yep. So, like, it's, it's still in Nintendo's... It's still in the back of Nintendo's mind, and they're like, yeah, we're, we're still remembering Luigi's Mansion. It's, it's still coming back. Um, I, I don't think they'll announce a third Luigi's Mansion, maybe, but who knows. Mm -hmm. um, but for, I think it will fit really well in Super Mario Odyssey, because you could... I, I, as far as I know, the boos aren't in Mario Odyssey. The, uh, the, no, like, they're the not. Boo, the boo enemies are missing, so they could return in in the Luigi's Mansion level. That that was a really big like I I noticed that right away. Like as soon as I beat the game, I was mm -hmm. like, there were no boos in this game at all. That's real. That's a really big yeah. Mario enemy not to include. Um, so this would be the perfect spot to kind of get them in there. Yeah, I think so. All right, so new prediction, and this is kind of a bold one, but it kind of relates to what we were just talking about. We're getting a new Luigi's Mansion game on the Switch, and it's getting announced tomorrow. It could happen, and I, I'd hope for it to happen, but yeah, it's a bit of a stretch, I think. Oh yeah, like it's certainly not the most likely of predictions, but I'm gonna have a few off-the-wall ones in there every once in a while. Yeah, um, I think Luigi's Mansion, though, because the, there's been the uh, Luigi's Mansion on 3DS. It, it, it was called either Luigi's Mansion 2 or Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. I can't remember which country difference we had know. we had dark moon i think it was two over in europe yeah i think that's what it was um and i think it it might be too early to announce luigi's mansion 3 they might leave it for e3 this year or like next year but then again bayonetta 3 has just been announced so mm -hmm. yeah, yeah so it, it could be possible but yeah. Yeah. Seems like anything's possible at this point. Just had to... Yeah. Uh, while it was on my mind, I was like, oh, yeah, I think that could happen. All right, new mm. prediction. What do you think is going to happen tomorrow? Um, a new prediction? I don't really know. Like, Or just like any prediction, could, any prediction. They could probably show a, a sneak peek of either... I'm not too sure. They could probably show Pokemon, the new Pokemon game on the Switch. Oh, you think so? To, bit of a stretch again they might save it for e3 but they could they could hint at something maybe like a behind the scenes screenshot or like 10 seconds of graphics uh graphics demos or things like that i um, um i hate to burst your bubble i completely disagree um, oh really the the pokemon company seems to really do things kind of like to the, the beat of their own drummer like when they whenever yeah. a new pokemon game has gotten revealed it's been on their own terms either in a, a direct yeah or like a new trailer like it's, it's always been up to them and their pokemon games also never get revealed at e3 there's stuff that gets shown off about them at e3 but they're never revealed mm. for the first time at e3 and they're also never revealed in like a an over like a general nintendo direct so, I, again, I would love to see that. I want to see what's going on with Pokemon on the Switch so badly, um, but I really don't see it happening. Yeah, um, I heard from someone, I think it was either on Twitter or at university, that the new Pokemon game on the Switch is going to have real-time combat, so, like, you actually control your Pokemon and, like, the attacks that it does. So a little bit similar to Pokken Tournament. Um Ooh. But, oh um, man, I don't know how I it, feel about that. I, I hope I, I mean I, I don't know like what, like who your sources or whatever. I, I kind of hope they're wrong. I, like the one thing yeah. I want to stay the same about Pokemon is the combat system. It's other things about the the game that I kind of want to see updated and upgraded. Yeah, but um, I think I think probably why they went with that rumor, like pr probably the reason why they thought that that rumor was somewhat real and predictable is that. A lot of games on the Switch change up their genre and change up their series. So Zelda Breath of the Wild is a vastly different Zelda game to what we're familiar with. That's fair. Um, and Mario Odyssey is like a return to an old, um, like more free roam Mario. So Pokemon could probably follow the same route and just try like a real time battle, a bit like a Pokemon tournament. Um, but again, I. I don't think that will be. 
I don't think that will happen because the the core selling point of Pokemon is the turn based battles. So, yeah, like the, the classics. Um, so and I'm gonna go into my next prediction, uh, and this is kind of a boring one, but um, I think that they're gonna give kind of one last push for both Kirby Star Allies and for Detective Pikachu because they both released this month, mm. and those are games that uh, they're definitely marketing heavily, especially Kirby. Um, so I feel like they're gonna give just kind of like one last push for those two games. Yeah, I I haven't actually seen that much for Detective Pikachu yet. I've seen a few images and like things spread out on the internet, but um, they could they could definitely show like one more final trailer just to give a really solid reason as to why people should buy it. Well, um, so here's a prediction yeah. because with Detective Pikachu, they've mostly shown off like how it's a really great story, but they haven't shown off a lot of the gameplay in Detective Pikachu. Mm. So I feel like they could definitely do that, like give people more of an idea of like what kind of gameplay it is. Yeah, is, is it somewhat along the lines of like a Professor Layton style game? Or yeah. is that... Yeah, so th they could show off a lot more of the, the puzzles and things like that, and what you'll actually be doing in the game. So the basic, the basic summary of the story and things like that. It's like yeah, a I feel it, like it's like a puzzle adventure game kind of. So mm. I, I'm very excited for it. I don't know if you are. I'm very excited for it. Yeah, uh, it's just really it's just really weird hearing Pikachu talk. <laughs> and I love like, it for like, that. It's, it, it's so strange to look at. Did you see? Just off topic, really quick. Did you see the I Choose You movie? Um, I didn't know, but I saw the uh, I saw the. You know what I'm talking about, Pikachu yeah. Talk. Yeah. <laughs> Just, and uh, there was, they even filmed like the audience reaction in the cinema, and everyone completely lost it. It was so Which, weird. Yeah. Um, but uh, either way, Detective Pikachu, cool idea, and it, it looks good. I, I might get it, but we'll have to see how well the game's reception is. Sure, yeah. Yeah. All right. You got any more predictions? I got a few more, at least. Um, I've got... They could they could reveal a little bit more of a DLC for Splatoon 2 because that's always kind of yep. thrown it thrown into a Nintendo Direct. Yep, I definitely agree. Um, yeah. I, I I think it's time. Okay, so here's what I think with Splatoon because Splatoon has been playing it very very safe. With Splatoon 2, it's a great game, mm -hmm. but it's a very safe sequel. I I think it's time for them to kind of throw out some crazy wild idea. Like we were just talking about uh, Mario Sunshine. What about Isle Delfino in Splatoon 2? That's something that people have been kind of oh, wanting for a weird. while. People have been kind of wanting that since the original Splatoon. I, I think, like, now that Splatoon 2, because they said that they were going to support Splatoon 2 for up for a year with uh, new content, I think they got it, mm. it's, you know, we're getting close to a year. It released in July. So I feel like it's time to really throw out some crazy wild idea for Splatoon 2. Yeah. Um, th this just came up in my head, and I don't know whether this will happen, but I... I feel like it will be a kind of cool idea. Um, so, imagine some sort of mix between Splatoon and Rocket League. So, you have to shoot a ball with your ink into an opponent's goal. Oh a bit my like god. Rocket League. That might actually work. Oh my god. It, and then, like, have to... and like different weapons have like are able to launch it further. So, like, the chargers can like launch yeah. it far. But, like, you have more mobility with, like, the dualies. Like, oh, my God, dude, that's such a great idea. And it could be, like, it, 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 there could be, like, specially designed levels for this mode. So, like, instead of um, in, instead of the very, like, vertical structure-style battle arenas, they could just be flat, like, like Rocket League arenas. Oh my god! And what if and what if you could like so like the sponge items where you can like fill them up with ink? What if you could fill those up and use them as like defense for like your soccer? Net oh or yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. my god, dude! Now, oh dude, like, you, I, Nintendo should hire you. Jeez. <laughs> I, I just thought of that because I, I was playing Rocket League the other, the other day on uh, on my PC, and uh, I'm, I've kind of got a little bit addicted to it. But um, yeah, Splatoon two football kind of mode. Oh my god! Or, or soccer, whichever. That would be awesome. So speaking it's, again, it's a, it's a stretch, but yeah. I, dude, I, I, okay. So I think like DLC for Splatoon Two is definite. I, I unfortunately think your soccer idea, yeah, I have to agree. Bit of a stretch, <laughs> yeah. as much as I'd love it. But speaking it's of probably DLC, probably just gonna be a new level. Yeah, probably. Speaking yeah. of DLC though, Xenoblade Two. We still don't know about the story DLC for that. And did mm. you play Xenoblade Two? 
I haven't actually, yeah. So, so I played it, and this is something, the story DLC is something I'm looking forward to big time, because the, mm. I won't spoil anything, but the plot kind of ends on a bit of a cliffhanger, um, mm. and it, like, the ending just is so amazing for that game. Like, I really need to know what happens next, and I'm hoping that this story DLC, because we really don't know much about it, I think it's gotten delayed, um, so I'm kind of mm. hoping that they talk about it here. But uh, Xenoblade, I remember Xenoblade Chronicles X on the Wii U. That had a bit of a strange cliffhanger ending, mm -hmm. which said it was going to continue. And it's been how many years now? Uh, about just over two years, and we haven't got any sort of continuation for Xenoblade Chronicles X. Um, mm -hmm. But I think what I might do on what they might do on the topic of Xenoblade Chronicles X is announce some sort of Switch port. Yes. Um, and th there's been a little bit of evidence to sort of back this up. Um, there was like the, the Japan website for Xenoblade Chronicles X updated their copyright information to 2018. Mm -hmm. Because before it was just like um, N Nintendo copyright 2015, which was when the game came out. But recently they changed it to 2018. And I feel like if, if this is... If this is signaling like a, a, a switch port for Xenoblade Chronicles X, it could definitely work. But they've got to they've got to change a few things around in the game just to make it a bit more simple. Yeah, I I completely agree with you on all of that. I think a Xenoblade export mm. is coming to the Switch. I think it actually I think it could get announced tomorrow. I think I could totally see that happening. But there are yes some things that they definitely need to upgrade. Like the two big things for me is teaching the, the player about the mechanics of the game. Yeah. There's a lot of mechanics to that that's not really explained to you. And make the text bigger. Oh my god. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, we, uh, we've we got our Wii U uh, like plugged into the lounge, like our living room downstairs. Yeah. And um, so I, I sit basically on the sofa um, on the other side of the lounge and have, the, have my gamepad in my hands. And the TV is, it's quite a large TV, but it's still really hard to see the text. Um, it, it's in HD and everything. We've got that, like, sorted. But from a distance, it's really hard to read the text, so... And they fixed it, they fixed that in Xenoblade 2. That was a big thing mm. that they fixed, so I'm hoping that they can go back and change that with Xenoblade X as well. Because I agree with you, like, when I played through it, like, again, the same as me, like, I have, like, a living room setup but i actually had to bring my desk chair out and like sit up closer to the tv with it because i couldn't see <laughs> yeah and um, i think as, as well as just as well as there being a lot of small text um they might also have to change how like there's a lot of stats and numbers in xenoblade chronicles x like you've got you've got all like your ability stats yeah. you've got tokens to use online you've got Meranium points, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, I think um, so. You've got like so many different numbers and stats to keep track of in the game, and it it, it can be really overwhelming for people to get back into. Like, mm -hmm. I I feel like if I picked up my Wii U now and went on Zen Bay Chronicles X, I I'd, I'd just be completely lost with <laughs> with where I was, what everything means. Like, yeah, no, I, I agree with you, and I think that would be a very good quality of life change. Um, mm. Yeah, so my next prediction, Fire Emblem Switch. Um, I'm actually mm. very surprised this didn't get revealed in the Mini Direct in January. It's got to be here. Like, it, it wasn't there in January. This is a game that Nintendo has said is coming out in 2018. I think that they're, I think that they're going to reveal it. I think we're going to get like a big like. You know, like a CG trailer, we're going to get gameplay, we're going to get... I think we're actually going to get a release, not a release date, but at least a release window. And I'm predicting mm. fall. I'm predicting, you know, September, October, somewhere in there. Yeah, I feel like Fire Emblem would be a really good game for, like, the hardcore fans to get really excited in, in this Direct. Because at the moment, they've just said... They, they've just said that Mario Tennis Aces is going to be the focus. And I feel like that's... That's not going to be like that proper. That's not going to give that proper excitement for people. And Fire Emblem on the Switch is gonna. That's definitely going to be like an exciting. It could be. It could be at the end, like a last minute explosion excitement. I think. Yeah, um, and um, I, I agree with you because I, th I think Fire Emblem can actually kind of give hype more than Mario Tennis because Fire Emblem yeah. as of late has a better track record than Mario Tennis does. Um, now, granted, the new Mario Tennis game looks good, but it still needs to prove itself. 
a lot of people have been talking about Fire Emblem as well. Even, even when there's like no recent Fire Emblem games or like no, nothing, nothing recent that's happened in Fire Emblem, people are still talking about it all over Twitter, and doing fan art and playing all the old Fire Emblem games. And I'm, I'm not a big fan of Fire Emblem myself, but I'd still be excited if they showed Fire Emblem in the direct tomorrow. Yeah, same with me. I'm not a big happen. Fire Emblem person, but I do kind of hope it's there. Um, I am curious mm. to see what's going on with it. And I, I only have played one Fire Emblem game, and I did enjoy it. And I've been kind of looking to get back into the series, perhaps. So maybe this will be the game to do it. Yeah, and uh, they, they might also show a little bit more of that. Is it Fire Emblem Warriors? Is that the... Yes, Fire Emblem. Is that like the din di Dynasty Warriors kind yeah. of... Yeah, Hyrule Warriors thing. They could show a little bit more of that, and then also the Wii U port of Hyrule Warriors as well. You mean um, the uh, Switch port? Yeah, yeah, Switch port, not Wii U <laughs> port. Damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I, I could see those showing up, maybe with some DLC or some more content. Yeah, just to uh, clarify a little bit more of the news on that. All right, uh, prediction. Yeah. I, I still have a few more. I, I've just got one more written down, and it, it's a somewhat small one, but... Go for it. Okay, so I think I think this was in their previous Direct, but it's The World Ends With You yes. on the Switch. Um, we haven't really heard too much about that, other than it's coming to the Switch now with HD graphics, and I think like a new chapter or a new story sequence. And that's basically all we know, I think. The world... So they could give a they could give a release window or, or something. Even though it's a port, the world ends with you is kind of a big deal of a game. A lot of people are excited for that, mm. myself included. Cause I, I never played it. I, I know how great of a game it is, um, and I, I could definitely agree with that. I think we'd get a release date if we did see it. Yeah, and I I feel like this, the world ends with you. I never played the DS original either, but I feel like when it comes to the Switch, I might actually buy it because it, it's from the makers of Kingdom Hearts. And mm -hmm. the, world, the World Ends With You characters did actually make an appearance in uh, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Oh, I did not know that. The, yeah, it, it was it was the uh, the 3DS Kingdom Hearts game. Okay. And the World Ends With You characters appeared in it. So it was a, a nice, um, it was a nice change compared to usual Final Fantasy characters just appearing. But, um, and like you get to team up with uh, Neku, the guy with ginger hair. And, okay. Um, and and Shiki as well. So it's 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 definitely the world ends with you is still talked about quite a lot. Yes. Like it's still it's it's still in. Uh, it, it's a cult favorite for sure. Yeah, definitely. It's it's often considered quite an underrated gem on the DS mm -hmm. uh, that that surprisingly not many people know about. There's a few people in my uni in, in my university group. And bear in mind, my, my university course is a video game related course, yeah. and there's there's still a few people that have, that haven't even heard of The World Ends With You. What a which shame! Is, which is quite surprising, yeah. Um, but yeah, they they could show off just a little bit more footage, maybe even a comparison between the DS original and the the Switch one. That's true. Yeah, updated yeah. graphics. And then just like a release window saying it, it's coming out at this time. Yeah. So another prediction, Yoshi. This is another one I was oh, very yeah. I was Completely very surprised. Not. Yeah, no, it's easy to forget about it, man. We haven't seen it since E3. Um, I was yeah. very surprised it didn't show up in January. We gotta see it this time. We gotta get a new trailer for it. And if it's a 2018 title like they've been claiming, then we gotta find that out as well. Yeah, and I, I feel like a lot of people forgot about the new Yoshi game, or Yoshi, Yoshi. I feel like people forgot about it because it the reveal trailer came right after Metroid Prime 4. Yes. <laughs> so, so everyone was just screaming of excitement for that, and then they didn't really pay attention to the new Yoshi trailer. But Myself I mean, included. <laughs> yeah. Um, but another thing as well... Um, if, if you might have noticed that pretty much all of the visuals in, in the new Yoshi game are cardboard. They're, they're very cardboard and like crafty material focused. Yep, I know where you're and, going with this. <laughs> yep, this might connect in some way to Nintendo Labo. So they, they could be some sort of Labo like peripheral that comes with the new Yoshi game. Um, which you can fit the Joy-Cons in and it interacts with the world in, in some way or form. Oh my god. 
Like, do you, so, so do you think it would be? Do you think it would be like integral to the gameplay, or do you think it would be like amiibos, where like they add to the gameplay but they're not like compulsory? I, I feel like it it would add to the gameplay rather than be like a compulsory item because I I think a game that the 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 Yoshi game on Switch kind of re reminds me a little bit of Little Big Planet and Tear Away on the play on PlayStation and. Okay. Um, Tearaway specifically had had an option where you could use you could use an app on like smartphone to like create things on on your phone and then send them to the game mm -hmm. like it, a, a bit like how you would draw something on the Wii U gamepad and then sure yeah have it have it on the telly and um, I feel like the Labo could do something really unique with this so you make some sort of cardboard shape put it into an area for the Joy-Con to scan and then you get it in the game. So, like, as, as a platform shape or, or something like that. Yeah. Man, dude, I, I didn't even think about that before. I didn't even make the cardboard uh, uh, connection yeah. there. Um, do you think Labo has any chance of showing up in the Direct tomorrow? Um, I feel like... I don't know whether it will, because they've kind of established what Nintendo Labo is really well already. So, like, they, they wouldn't really need to talk about it anymore. I agree. Um, I, I don't think it's going to show up at all. I think they're actually trying to keep it as a separate pillar to their dedicated yeah. games. So, I actually think that if they're going to talk about Labo, it's going to be in its own separate little thing. So, I agree with you there. Yeah, they could probably they could probably talk about the, uh, the robot kit. Because I think that we haven't seen as much of the robot kit as we have with all of the other um, versions of Nintendo Labo. So, like, the... The piano version and things, mm -hmm. and the the racetrack mode where you can like scan any image and have it as terrain. Yeah, like I'm 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 slightly worried for what's going to happen with that, like a photo scanner. <laughs> um, you could basically scan any image, and it, I, I'm pretty sure you can upload the tracks online. I think Nintendo said. Yeah, so, no, you. I think you can. You can share them with people. Yeah. Um, the, there's going to have to be some sort of online regulation for what Im images are scanned and oh. show up on the terrain. Oh, God. <laughs> like, giant memes on the grass. <laughs> I, I was thinking a little more images. phallic, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, um, so, I've, I've got two more predictions, and then I've got a few more things that I don't think will show up at all. So, I'll, I'll kind of speed run through these. Um, okay. So, Travis Strikes Again. I think we will get a little okay. bit of information on that. I don't think we're going to get a release date because I think that's actually still a ways off. Um, and this is one I actually do want to talk about a little more. Project Octopath Traveler. I think oh, yeah. now that like the demo has been out for a while and now that they've actually received feedback from all the fans, they've even said like, hey, we've noticed your feedback. This is what we're changing to the game. I think we're going to see that game again. And I think we're actually going to get a release date for it. I think it's going to be in August. Yeah, I I definitely watched that um, that video where it was like we've listened to your feedback and here are all the changes, and I I thought the demo was all right. It definitely got me hooked for a somewhat amount of quite a long time, um, but there were definitely a few things wrong with it, and I, I'm really I'm, I'm quite thankful that the video like addressed a lot of those issues. All of all of the developers in Japan have, have really been listening to feedback. Mm. Um, and it, but by the sounds of it, the game sounds right about done. No, it uh, does. Like finished. Yeah. yeah. The the only thing that that's still like in a sort of unfinished state is the title, which is Project Octopath Traveler, and we've we've known it in that code name for so long that it might just end up being the the title in the end. I was gonna say like it's almost like NX. It was so hard to call it the Switch at first because we knew it as yeah. NX for granted not nearly as long as Octopath, but we knew it as the NX for like two years at that point. Yeah. So like if they if they showed Project Octopath Traveler tomorrow in the direct and then said we've now got a new name for it, it it's something this, people aren't gonna remember it. They're gonna just keep on calling it Octopath Traveler. I was gonna say like just get rid of Project, just call it Octopath Traveler. I'm, yeah, I am. I actually really like that name. It, it sounded silly at first, but it's really grown on me. Yeah, because it, isn't it something to do with like there's eight heroes that yeah. have different story? Yeah, so it makes sense like eight Octo. And yeah, you know what prediction right there? I think it's gonna be called Final Fantasy uh, Final Fantasy Octopath Traveler. 
Final Fantasy. I, 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 I think that they're going to slap the Final Fantasy name on it just because that's going to make it sell so much better. I, I could, I could it, see it happening. Is it, Does Square Enix develop the game? Or um, is that... I believe it's Square. Hold on, let me just look it up. Um, but, but, because if they do, then they could definitely put Final Fantasy on there and, and make it like a Final Fantasy series. Um, that, could, that could be like the hidden thing that... Yeah. That that's why they've put project in the name. Yep, it's Square Enix. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah I, I was in pretty sure case. it was. Yeah, so in, in in that case, they could definitely add like Final Fantasy into the title, and then that would be quite a quite an interesting surprise, I think. Mm hmm. I because uh, like it doesn't feel like Final Fantasy 16. It, like I don't think it's a natural progression from mm. 15. But I could definitely see them throwing like because they throw it on like th they have their tactics tactics series. They have um mm. uh oh, what's the fighting one um Dissidia. um so oh, yeah. so like th there's definitely like a possibility of them throwing the name on that. Uh, but Project Octopath Traveler looks so good. I need to see more of that. I think it's very likely at this point. Now that they've gotten the feedback, I, I, I want to see it. Mm, definitely. So I kind of lied. I have one more kind of prediction. This is kind of a <laughs> funny one. Um, okay. Based on... So last time we had the mini direct, there was the trolling that Nintendo of America did on their Twitter. Do you think that they were actually signaling at a Chibi Robo on fire oh, game coming yeah. coming to like the 3DS or something? Could we be getting a Chibi Robo game on the 3DS just to completely troll people? <laughs> yeah, because they said in the direct announcement that they're not just talking about Switch games, they're talking about 3DS ones. So they could <laughs> do they could do some sort of Chibi like surprise Chibi Robo game at the end. Because oh my God. that image on Twitter basically confused my entire timeline and everyone that I followed. Dude, it, it was the Resetera logo for a while. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, it was the Resetera logo for a while. <laughs> oh, man. But I, I, I think I, I think they could definitely re reveal some sort of random chibi robo game just because Nintendo, they, they like to have good humor sometimes. But... Like, oh my god, the salt would be so real. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if it was Chibi Robo Ziplash 2. Good people, dude, there would be riots in the street, let me tell you. <laughs> they they could even do it, like, um, they, they save the trailer right at the end, and then they have the Smash Bros, the, the Smash Bros, like, cross oh, sound. Oh, God. And, and then get everyone's heartbeat, like, racing, and then it's just Chibi Robo. That would be, mac that would be too far. <laughs> that would be <laughs> hilarious. That would be Did too far. Nintendo pranks the whole internet. Oh my god. Oh, man. So, any other just final predictions from you? I have a few that like I don't think are going to show up at all. Like I don't um, think we're going to see Smash Brothers. I don't think we're going to see Pokemon. I don't think we're going to see any online. We're not going to see Metroid Prime 4. I don't <laughs> think that we're going to see... I don't think that we're going to see any big new games that we don't already know about. The only one I really kind of thought was like... Maybe Fire Emblem, but we already kind of know about that. I think all of the new reveals that people have been talking about, such as like Animal Crossing, you know, Pikmin 4, Pokemon, Smash, Metroid, all of those ones, those are going to be E3. I think this is just to kind of tie mm -hmm. us over until E3. Yeah, I think what they could maybe show, like, just very briefly in the Nintendo Direct, and I don't think they said it on the announcement, because they, they only just said Switch and 3DS, but they could probably reveal a little bit more about the Mario Kart game coming to mobile. That's true. So, so it, Mario Kart Tour, I think it's called. Um, they they could probably probably just show like what what the game actually is. You know, like is it an actual Mario Kart on phone or is it like a Mario Kart spin-off title where there's not actually any racing in it? Yeah, I could see them like dedicating maybe like thirty seconds to that or something, just to kind of show how pe like how it plays and whatnot. Because I think that's the big question. Yeah, but I think overall they might not talk about mobile games that much because it, it, uh, again, it's just going to be uh, Switch and 3DS games, so a bit unlikely, but so could ha could happen. On a scale of one to ten, how hyped are you? Um, a solid eight, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, because they, they've said Mario Tennis Aces is the, the core focus of the Direct, and I think they've, they've got to show something really big and exciting for Mario Tennis if, if it's going to be the main focus. 
I, I, I'm going to agree with you. I, I think I'm also at an eight. I don't think we're going to get mm. like absolutely blown away, but there is definitely going to be some really solid stuff in here. I can feel it. Yeah, definitely. Well, I, that's all I have to say, unless you have anything else you want to throw in there real quick. Uh, no, no, that's basically all I've got. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, Tom, where they can where can the people find you at? So, yeah, I, I'm mostly active on Twitter, but I also have a YouTube channel, which I presume will be in the description here. Yes. I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, so on my YouTube, I do music remixes of like video game music, as well as just general video game news discussions and random things. Cool. Well, uh, yeah. def definitely check them out. Um, I can really get behind your music remixes. They're awesome. Yeah. Uh, and make sure you stick to the channel for lots more on this direct very soon and other Nintendo goodness. All right. Peace out, guys. Bye. Bye.